we're going to start by rinsing our lamb in vinegar water this is to help kind of remove that smell or extra taste and you can do that with any meat you use now that i rinsed my lamb in vinegar i'm going to add these various ingredients because we're making a stew and we're going to just add all these ingredients here i have about one onion okay and i have three tomatoes three fresh tomatoes over here so i'm just going to put all this in there and in this mixture here i have parsley green onion and garlic which i'm also going to add just all of this thing here and this is just a very quick and easy meal you guys i mean throw everything in there you know you put it in your pressure cooker it's so quick and so good i have bay leaf i'm using pasta sauce that's right I like to use pasta sauce because it is very flavorful and it's thick, it's red. I just kind of want that red coloring to the stew. If you don't want to use pasta sauce or you don't have any pasta sauce, you can also use tomato sauce. It still has that thickening and brings that red coloring. You just don't have the flavor that often comes with pasta sauce. As I often say, add whatever salt consistency works for you okay i don't like to tell people how much salt they should add to their food so this is what works for me approximately maybe one to two teaspoon so i have some salt here i have a all seasoning it's no salt all seasoning it has various spices so i like to add this to my food so if you have an all season all seasoning spice you know just use that nothing complicated nothing crazy and I'm also going to add lemon pepper, okay? Uh, just to, even though it was rinsed in vinegar, it's still nice to add that lemon pepper taste. And there is also some salt in here. That's why I was very careful. I was careful not to add too much salt originally. I think that's going to be enough. Now, if you want it spicy, go ahead and add some red pepper. But my sons are going to eat this, so I'm not going to add any spices, okay? I'm not making it too hot. And now we're going to add one cup of water. So now I'm just going to mix all this because remember it's going in the pressure cooker and we're going to place it in the pressure cooker on high for about 20 minutes. We're going to start 20 minutes on high. I think because this is lamb, um, lamb usually is very soft. It doesn't take a long time to cook. Some meats um, might need 30 minutes, for example. So with lamb, because I don't, if you cook it longer with a pressure cooker, it's just going to become very mushy and soft and, uh, you know, just melt in your mouth. I mean, if that's what you want, go for it. The lamb itself already has oil, you know, meat has its own oil. So I'm just adding a little bit, not too much. Make sure you seal your pressure cooker because if you leave it on vent, it's not going to create the pressure it needs to cook. So make sure it is sealed. So now we're going to turn it on. We're going to select pressure. We're going to choose high. So you can do temperature low or high. We're going to go to high and we're going to select 20 minutes. All right. We're going to go with 20 minutes and we simply start and we'll listen for it the sound when it is ready because once it is ready you want to open and quick release the vapor otherwise it's going to keep cooking so Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and click the bell so you do not miss out our future episode. We'll see you next time.